guys. It's getting serious. I'm getting out soon right here. My craziest week of my life. Thank you, Slips, right here. It's a wrap. Dude, I'm up 16K for the day. Bang, I'm out. 130, I got 114. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Oh, wow. Wow, 30K on that. I got 550 contracts that I need to fill on that high. Easy. That's the power candle. And now I'm out. Bro, I made it. Bro, God, bro, 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 oh, got my time to sales. Forty-five thousand dollars, fifty thousand. There it goes. There it goes. Fifty-two thousand. Up sixty thousand dollars right now. But none of this matters. None of this means anything. But who am I to tell you that? You've never experienced any of this. So I'm going to show you how to get here. But first, I'm going back to zero. My name is Norada. Many people know me as Nord Trades over the past eight years. And like anybody else who has achieved a large amount, I went from being raised in the projects and living off of food stamps to becoming a multi-millionaire as well as transforming the lives of thousands of others. And unlike your favorite make money online entrepreneur, what I tell you has to work or I lose money too. Unlike your favorite e-com, agency, or high ticket sales guy, the way I make money is 100% transparent. I can't give you advice or a path to make money that I don't use exactly myself. Day trading is black and white. There's only green and red. There's no clients, running ads, or made up hacks involved. Every trade I take is put out for my entire community of 10,000 members to see. My group sees every single thing I do. So if I say to do something, I put my reputation and money on the line every single time. You might think it's too late for you to start, that the market is too complex, or that you need a lot of money to begin. I'm here to tell you that all of those excuses are BS. I started with very little and learned everything along the way. And instead of telling you how to start from zero dollars, I'm going to do it myself. And I'm going to give you the chance to follow me every step of the way. You see, after years of being one of the most successful traders in the space and living the life I dreamed of, I forgot where I came from. My name is Noor, and this is the story of how I went from a broke kid in the ghetto of New Jersey, living off of food stamps, to living in my dream house, driving a fully paid for McLaren, all before I could legally rent a car. I grew up with my mom and dad, where our apartment got robbed three times. Yes, three times. And honestly, at that point, I didn't even know what they had left to rob. But that was the area I grew up in. Now I live in a beautiful mansion in Los Angeles, have a multi seven figure investment portfolio and bought my mom and dad both new cars and have been able to retire them. Basically, I built the life I always wanted to create for myself and made it reality. But just like in any story, it didn't come easy. I'm going to share all in this video and even things I thought I'd never share with you. This video is not to brag, but to help show you all what is possible. As you all know, after this video, I'm going to be starting over from zero. But like I am in the projects of New Jersey, starting from zero dollars in my bank account, hoping to make it. But today, let me take you through how I got here in the first place. Growing up, I was blessed to have both my mom and dad in the house, and I'll always be grateful for their love. Even though I was in the projects, that is always something I can be grateful for. The government actually helped us find an affordable place to live, and honestly, it may have been free. We also were on food stamps, so we could even put food on the table. My area was rough. Growing up in the gritty projects of Jersey City was like navigating a minefield. Poverty and struggle were daily companions. My family depended on food stamps, our apartment had been broken into multiple times, and a sense of hopelessness permeated our lives. But around the age of 14, Something extraordinary happened that would change the trajectory of my life forever. I discovered YouTube. One evening while mindlessly scrolling through videos, I stumbled upon vloggers living lives of adventures, freedom, and abundance. BoosyTube and DDG became my virtual mentors, guiding me through the possibilities of a life beyond the confinements of my neighborhood. It took my mind to a world I didn't believe was possible. Yeah, you can watch movies like James Bond, but that's a movie. Movies don't feel real, but this, this was real. Watching them, I felt a fire ignite within me, an insatiable desire to escape the limitations that had confined me. The moment marked the birth of a dream, an inspiration that dared not to share with anyone. Until today, 
where I had been pulling back the curtain on my story and truly sharing what I went through growing up. Even my parents could barely find out what I was up to. It was an audacious goal, one that I had no idea how to attain. But it was the spark that would set me on a journey into the unknown that would lead us to where we are today. My newfound motivation was a deeply personal secret, kept locked within my heart. Continue to watch those YouTube vloggers captivated by their stories of freedom. It was a world so vastly different from the one I knew in Jersey City, a world I longed to be a part of. Then something I never expected to happen, happened. As I turned 16, an incredible opportunity materialized out of thin air. I secured an internship on Wall Street. The news sent shockwaves through my community, leaving people astonished that a kid from our neighborhood could land an internship on Wall Street. No one where I came from ends up on Wall Street. Yeah, maybe the streets, but for sure as hell not Wall Street. The movie Wolf of Wall Street, well, let me tell you something. That movie was no exaggeration. My internship was located at 40 Wall Street, inside the iconic Trump building. Stepping into that world felt surreal, like I had entered a new realm. I was surrounded by towering skyscrapers that seemed to touch the heaven. One of my fellow interns had a brother who had made this internship possible. And together, we embarked on a three-month journey that would transform our lives. While our role didn't involve direct trading, we were given front row seats to the real-time financial world. The numbers being tossed around were staggering. People making six figures a month, a concept that seemed unfathomable back in school, where a dream job meant making six figures a year. Could you imagine making not only 10,000 in a single month, but over 100,000 in a month? Where I came from, even getting off of food stamps was impressive. Then making $100,000 in a single year would be life-changing. The thought of making $10,000 per month was now a vivid crystal clear painting in my mind. And eventually the thought of making $100,000 per month would be clear too. My eyes were opened wide to the vast potential that existed beyond my previous understanding. But it wasn't until my high school graduation that the flood of inquiries began. It became clear that my journey was inspiring others to seek a path beyond the ordinary, to explore opportunities that they had never dared to consider. I even offered free cash courses in my parents' basement, bringing together both younger and older individuals eager to learn. My journey had come full circle as I returned with the elixir of knowledge and success, using it to inspire and empower others on their own heroic journeys. Just like I am here today, to tell you to create your own heroic journey. You are not destined to stay in your current situation. If you're living on food stamps, you are not destined to stay there. If you are like me and living in an unsafe, dangerous environment, you are destined to change your family's trajectory and be the one who saves them. Buying my parents their dream cars was a moment that defined my journey, a symbol of success and gratitude for everything they had sacrificed for our family. It wasn't just about owning luxurious vehicles, it was a heartfelt expression of love and appreciation. My mom had always dreamed of driving a BMW X5, and it became my mission to make that dream a reality. I remember the excitement in her eyes when I handed her the keys to her very own X5. Her smile was worth every ounce of effort I had put into achieving my own success. For my brother, it was an M340 that had always captured his imagination. His face lit up as he sat behind the wheel of that powerful machine a symbol of hard work and dedication that had brought us to this point. The joy and pride I felt in those moments were indescribable. It was a way of giving back, of acknowledging the sacrifices that had made to support me on my journey. Buying those cars was more than just a material gift. It was a way of saying thank you for believing in me and allowing me to chase my dreams. As we drove those cars together, I couldn't help but reflect on the incredible journey that had led us here. From the tough streets of Jersey City to Wall Street and beyond, it was a testament to what's possible when you dare to dream and work tirelessly to turn those dreams into reality. Those cars were a symbol of our collective journey, a journey filled with challenges, triumphs, and unwavering support of my family. Now that's enough about me. Let's talk about you. So let me ask you a question. Are you where you want to be in life? Are you happy with the number in your bank account? If you are on food stamps, are you happy with your situation? Do you know how fulfilling it is to be able to retire your parents? Or are you still dependent on your parents? If you come from a wealthy family, do you want to live off their legacy? Or do you want to create your own and gain respect for yourself? These, my friends, is the real trade-off. The trade-off for me was living the rest of my life in the projects, needing food stamps to have food on the table, and living in places where I could have my life taken because it was unsafe. I decided 
that was not the life I was destined to have. And if you're watching this, you know the life you are destined to have. April 17th, two days from now, I'll be showing you exactly how you get out your current situation because I'm going back to zero. Yes, zero. No money, no connections, nothing to my name. I'm going to show you what my life could have been like if I didn't make the decision to change my life and my family's life. If you know you are destined for more, you don't want to stay where you're at in life. I invite you to join me April 17th for a video that will change your life for good. I'll see you soon. And next time you see me, I'll have nothing.